Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. The later morning caught up in my morning scroll. Anyway, welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingy Shnee Bay, Majeki Quay, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass, wild, and medicine woman, also Christiana Clark, Chris Clark, superstar, all this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, all you beautiful divine beings, right here too. And how goes it with you? Oh, yes, it's a work day for me. I got to go give out samples of this. Ice cream, ooh, arrow truffle ice cream, mmm, salted caramel, mmm, that's one of my faves. Oh, I hope I don't eat all that one. So, yeah, that's today. I'll be up at the Peterborough Metro, the Metro here in the Peterborough. Today and to tomorrow. And the body is very sore, but you know, here we go. That was good. I guess not cook everything. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh my goodness! Yesterday in the video, I was watching it back, and there was this stuff. I, I remember hearing it. I knew it was the cat. I could knock something over, but I didn't realize she leaped. You can see this little cat leap in the middle of the video. I'll keep that over, and when she comes over, maybe I'll see her over there. Oh, that was funny. I uh, rewind it and watched it a few times. I laughed my ass off. Yeah, it was yesterday's video. Oh, the, the, the one about vulnerability is courage. If you wanted to check that out. And it was like, I think it was about four minutes in. 4.48 or something like that. This little cat. You see it leap right in this corner over. This corner over here, can you see? I don't know if you see my hand just waving here. I don't know, whatever, here we go. <sighs> Tired. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just noticed that shelf look pulled out from the wall. Never noticed that before. <laughs> Excuse me. My brain's still waking up. It's uh, peak fatigue time. Ovulations. Uh, I like to be very careful. These are the times if I push my body, that's when I'm passing out things and all that starts happening. That's all right. We're good. We're good. Have patience with all things, but first of all, with yourself. Yes, we always have to have patience, but that one just came up. All right, down ways in which you can be more patient with yourself and keep this list handy. Reference when needed. How can you be more patient with you? Affirmation. Let's see what comes out. That was an inspiration. The affirmation says, every morning, look in the mirror and affirm positive words into your life. As you move through your day, take a moment to look into the mirror while looking into your own eyes. Recite these words aloud or silently. Aloud is, you know, it can feel awkward, but it, is, it, it works. It's really good. It's powerful. I love myself unconditionally. I am always enough. There we go. And you know what? Look at that. Right on top is a reflection. Let's do that. Look quick with the reflection. When you recognize and reflect on even one good thing about yourself. You're building a bridge to a place of kindness and caring. Sharon a. Salzberg. Write down one of your favorite traits about yourself. Celebrate why you love this about yourself. That's good. Positive affirmations. These all go together. Have patience with yourself if we're not there yet. That's a 34 on that. So have patience with yourself. Okay. Most of all, with yourself. And then every morning, we're going to look in the mirror. That's a 20. And as you move through your day, take a look in the mirror. And every morning, look in the mirror and affirm positive words into your life. Lila Gifty Akita. As you move through your day, take a moment to look into the mirror while looking into your own eyes. Recite these words silently and loud. I love myself unconditionally. I am enough. I love myself unconditionally. I am enough. Right, that's what we're doing. And then, and then we'll reflect on that. And then reflect on how that works for you. At the end of the day, how about that? See how that works. Try it out for one day. Right? When you recognize and reflect on even one good thing 
about yourself. You're building a bridge to a place of kindness and care. Sharon Salzberg. Write down one of your favorite traits about yourself. Celebrate why you love this about yourself. What's your favorite thing and why do you love that? That's beautiful. That was a 58 on that one. See a path and totem. Quick path and totem to come with these little affirmation, inspiration, and reflection. Oh, cat just leaped up my leg. Did you see that? There she is. Ow! Cat attack! Cat attack! <laughs> Dusty. She keeps getting sneezes. It's so cute. Cute little kitty sneezes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, pant season is coming in <laughs> protecting my legs. Okay, one path, one totem. Here we go. There's path. One totem. Please, there's a path. But one totem. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, those are flipping. I saw Owl Deception pulling back the blinds and the void. Potential miracle. Key to unlocking your creative abilities. Ah, loving yourself. Oh. Getting in touch with that. Trying it. You're taking the actions on that. Ow. Ah, that's Hour of Joy. Hour of power, ritual of joy. That was just popped up, but we need the totem, please. Just a one, just a one, one totem. We're taking that one on the top. <laughs> Reputation, a skunk, respect, grace. Okay, respect and grace under there. Respect your sacred space and grace, right? Swan will gracefully bite your ass if you get into its territory, because it is very territory. Okay, and this is how we find that usable energy, okay? Because are we going to feel hopeful if we keep being down on ourselves? Oh, look at you. You're good for nothing. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my gosh. If only you looked this way. If only we lost that much weight. If only we put on that much weight. If only we, you know, built up the muscles this big or whatever. Right? What is that? Do we feel like keep continuing? Right? Do we have patience with ourselves because we're running out of energy? Oh, my goodness. I just need to get this done. And so we keep trying to push instead of just resting. Taking that time to rest to get that usable energy? Or is it because, we're oh, everybody's watching me. Like, what are people going to think? We're worried about our reputation. You know, you know a hundred di different people, you have a hundred different reputations because your reputation is based on how others perceive you. Your character is about who you are inside. So let's focus on building that character and not reputation. All right. Okay, beautiful beings. Oh, look at that. Sam at nine. Become a nine with that. Okay. Anyway, so have patience with yourself. Look at yourself. Look at those good things. So many times we criticize, and that's the first thing we do when we look in the mirror is going to stuff that we don't like. But train yourself to look for things that you do like. Or at least you can, okay, I can tolerate this right now. You learn to love it or whatever, right? Whatever that needs to do. Say it out loud. I love myself unconditionally. And I am enough. Say that to yourself. Repeat it. And what's your favorite thing about you? Let that show. And at the end of the day, reflect on that. What's was your favorite part today? And anyway, something good about you today. Okay, beautiful, beautiful beings here. I'm trying to clean up already. I'm taking up my time. I gotta go. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shine your light through and everything you do. Because you know what this world needs you to be you. Fully, holy, and true. Don't let that world miss out on all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay. Let's go make this another wonderful, blessed day. All right? Because we make this all. All right, let's go. Love you. Thank you.